This is APN, the Daily English News Service, brought to you by American Press Network. Today, 31st of December 2016, this is your daily host, Sajid Jalal Singh. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi Headlines from APN, English News Service. Malaysian NGOs plan to send aid flotilla to help Rohingya in Rohingya Myanmar Nobel Winner Arch Action over Ethnic Cleansing. News in detail as follows. An aid flotilla carrying food and emergency supplies for Rohingya Muslims will sail from Malaysia for Myanmar's troubles for Khan State next month, the Malaysian organizer said on Friday. The flotilla organized by a coalition of aid groups here has yet to receive permission to enter Myanmar, sparking fears of a confrontation with security forces that could to years in Myanmar's already fried ties with the predominantly Muslim Malaysia. Malaysia has been an outspoken critic of the Myanmar government's handling of a violent crackdown in a kind which has killed scores of people and displaced 300,000 Rohingya aimed at allegation of abuse by security forces. The Malaysian Consultative Council of Islamic Organization Secretary General Zulhamiz Zainot said the flotilla organizer had applied for permission to enter Myanmar through its embassy in Kuala Lumpur but had yet to receive a reply. Even if we don't receive a response, we will continue to sail as we believe this is an important humanitarian mission, he said. Myanmar President Office denied it at, had received a request and said it would not accept the flotilla's arrival without prior permission. In the open letter of 11 Nobel Peace Prize winner, have asked the government crackdown on the population amounted to ethnic cleansing. More than 34,000 Rohingya have been forced to flee military operation in Okan State, according to the UN. Ms. Sushi Myanmar's de facto leader is accused of failing to protect, protect the minority group. A human tragedy amounting to ethnic cleansing and crimes against humanity is unfolding in Myanmar, the group which includes South Africa's Archbishop Desmond Tutu and Pakistani activist Malala Yousafzai wrote in a letter to the UN Secretary Council. If we fail to take action, people may starve to death if they are not killed with bullet. It added. The group consisting of Nobel laureate politician, philanthropist, activist said that it was frustrated that Ms. Suchi herself, a Nobel laureate, has not taken an initiative to ensure full and equal citizenship rights of the Rohingyas. At least 86 people have been killed in operations in Rakhine State launched after armed militant attacked border post in Mando on 9th October, killing nine policemen. Earlier this month, the government of Myanmar was criticized, criticized by the UN over its treatment of the minority Rohingya Muslim population. Myanmar government said it was conducting counter-terrorism operations in the region and has denied report of killing and other abuses. Most of the displaced Rohingya have fled across the border into Bangladesh. On Friday, the Director General of Myanmar's Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Chazaya, told three other news agencies that Myanmar recognized that 2,415 of its citizens were in Bangladesh, adding that they were welcome to return. The estimated 1 million Muslim Rohingya are seen by many in mainly Buddhist members as illegal migrants from Bangladesh. They are denied citizenship by the government despite many having lived there for a generation. Communal violence in Rakhine State in 2012 left. Scores that hence displaced more than 100,000 people, with many Rohingya still remaining in this camp. They face widespread discrimination and mistreatment. Hundreds of thousands of undocumented Rohingya are estimated to live in Bangladesh, having fled Myanmar. So, this is for today from APN English News Service. Thank you for watching our APN News. Please stay tuned for more updates. There are still to come more. If you like, please share us by through the Facebook and subscribe us by through the YouTube. Thank you for watching. Please stay tuned. Assalamu alaikum.